Hey everyone, welcome back to My Hobby Workshop. Today I'm going to be building a scene from one of my favorite shows of all time called Star Wars Clone Wars. If you haven't seen that show and you're a Star Wars fan, you're definitely missing out. Besides the three movies, the original movies, this show is absolutely fantastic in the Star Wars universe. There's so many great episodes that they did, and one of my favorite of all time is an episode called The Landing at Point Rain. Uh, season 2, Episode 5, I think, and it's basically a combination of the D-Day invasion of Normandy and like, Band of Brothers. To give you a quick synopsis, the clones were attacking this planet of Genosis, and as they were coming in on their dropships, they were getting bombarded with heavy fire, flak, anything, you name it, they were throwing at them, and a lot of them were crashing and being taken down, and it was just all-out war, and honestly, it was, a, it was amazing to watch. So, I really loved that episode and I have a big place in my heart for World War II and military history in general so I really wanted to make a little diorama to base it off that episode so I found the drop ship and I decided that I was going to use that to create my little scene. So the first thing I did was get the little toy out of its packaging and get it ready and prepped for primer and paint. The entire thing is made of metal besides the ball turrets that are on the side which will come in handy later on because I plan on removing one to show some battle damage from landing. The base coat is going to be flat black to help with shadows and obviously put a base layer of paint down so that the top layer can catch on a lot easier especially since this thing is made of metal and the top coat is a satin white color. The next step was to mask off the rest of the ship and paint on the red areas that were indicated on the box and other reference photos that I found online. I couldn't find the exact color so I just mixed red and black together until I got the maroonish color that I was looking for. After the red was done, I then hand painted on the flat black for the cockpit and the engine areas. For the base of the build, I decided to use just regular foam board insulation, uh, cut to the size I want, and got it set up. Like I said earlier, I really wanted to show some damage when this thing crash landed, so I did remove the right ball turret and drilled out the hole where the plastic piece connects to it. Uh, that way I can have some wiring showing through and just a little bit of detail from the damage. Next was to take a box cutter and cut out the area of the foam board where this thing slammed to the ground causing basically a hole from where it hit. So before I got too far ahead of myself working on the base I decided that I was going to put to me as panel line wash all over the drop ship. Um, I really wanted the details to pop out and kind of give it a little bit more realism. I also decided to use it as a basic first wash to kind of give it that grimy, dirty look. some detail of some battle damage I decided to use some wiring from an old phone charger to put protruding out the side where the ball turret had been ripped off so to give the base of the diorama some landscaping detail I decided to make this rock tower structure and mountainous uh, terrain. 
based on the photos that I've seen, um, it seemed pretty accurate to what the planet looked like. For both the little mountainous area and the rock structure, I used some tin foil and sculpting clay, baked it in the oven until it got hard, and I then attached it to the base using some Mod Podge. To get the desired effect that I needed for the actual base of the model, I decided to use Plaster of Paris. Um, after mixing it in with water and getting the right texture that I wanted, I then decided to lay it all over the base and let it dry. Once I had the plaster covered the entire base, I then pushed the dropship into the plaster so it can dry into it and give it that crashed effect. With the ship in place, I decided to use the sculpting tools that I had to make a lot of the effects in the plaster as if this thing hit the ground and slid a little bit. step after everything dried was to get some paint laid down. I wanted to start with something dark but still that sandy brown color so uh, I laid that all over the base, let that dry, and then moved on to the next color. So after my base colors were laid down, I decided that this thing looked like a giant chocolate brownie and needed to add some texture. So I put some PVA glue down all over everything and decided to lay down some uh, modeling sand. Now I had some filming issues when I did that, so I'm showing you the end result here. Uh, after I laid all the sand down, I then went over with some extra colors to put some textures and just give it that sandy look. Once I had all the colors the right way that I wanted them to look and I put down all of my washes, I decided to work on the sides of the base. Now, a lot of people will go the wood route or try to make it look fancy. I decided to paint it black and just call it good. The last and final step to this was adding the pigments to really make the weathering process pop out. Uh, what I used was just basic pastels from Hobby Lobby. I didn't use anything fancy. I just kind of scraped the pastels off and applied the colors where I thought they would fit. Um, I think it turned out really good and it gave it that extra pop in the details. I also used the pastels not only on the spaceship but also some of the sand effects to give it some different coloring.
Once I used the rest of the pastels and got everything looking the way I wanted to, I called this one done. That's going to do it for this video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it, go ahead and hit that like button below, and if you want to see some future content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. And also, if you've seen this episode or you love the Clone Wars as much as I do, go ahead and leave a comment below. I love interacting and talking with everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you at the next one.